Over the last 10 plus years of Call of Duty Zombies, some of the most obvious things in Zombies has yet to be fully explained. But with Targda Toten, that all changes. And we can finally get the backstory behind one of Zombies' most infamous machines, the Pack-A-Punch. The Cronorium, all we know is on June 28th, 1942, Group 935 continues development of a weapons upgrade machine. Little did we know that it has an amazing backstory, and it involves one certain blacksmith living in a western town. That's right, the Pack-A-Punch originated in Buried. And if that doesn't blow your mind already, then the rest of this video should do that. And there's a lot to get through in this video, so I'm not going to waste any more time. But I'm sure every single one of you watching knows the infamous Pack-A-Punch jingle. And there is like a full four minute version of that, with the lyrics tying in perfectly to the story of the inventor, which we're going to dive into. From a radio in Targda Totem, we learn that Group 935 salvaged parts of the Pack-A-Punch machine in the 1930s from a underground mining town, which you guessed it, is buried. As the timeline said, it wasn't lying as Group 935 furthered the development of the Pack-A-Punch machine, but they weren't the original inventors. Simply found parts of the Pack-A-Punch machine in Buried and then built up schematics to recreate the Pack-A-Punch for their own. And that's how we've seen it from Doris onwards in Efa Zombies. If Group 935 didn't invent the Pack-A-Punch machine, then who did and why was it in Buried? Thankfully, we can hear from the man himself who invented it. And this explains everything. It explains explains the buried witches being the inventor's mum back as a spirit of a younger version of herself. We learn that the inventor worked in a mine where he discovered element 115 which turned the town folk into zombies who killed his mum and in his dreams he's spoken to by two angels Dr. Monty and the Shadow Man who tell him to create the Pack-A-Punch machine and help him do so. Further on from helping him build the Pack-A-Punch machine he also wants him to build the Agarthan device. And we also learn about how how the town itself got shifted in time into the cavern in Africa under the earth's surface that we play as in Berry. It is absolutely fascinating and we have five radios for you all to listen to now for this story from the inventor himself, Jebediah Brown. And this finally explains this mysterious quote that we heard from the giant when Richtofen Packer punches. This machine was built by a good man, a blacksmith in the old west. I hope I can one day thank him. This rounds up Treyarch's oldest secret and mystery, and it is told in the most incredible way possible. The day's the 14th of April, the year of our Lord, 1885. A day I will hold dear until my last. <sighs> I have done and spent 30 years of my life in Purgatory Point. My ma brought me out here when I was but 10 years young. She hoped to give us a chance at a new life. They're good folk here in Purgatory Point. Sure, sometimes they get a little rowdy and maybe we stray too far from heaven's gaze, but uh, what do you expect from a frontier mining town? Something happened to one of the miners. Clive Farnsworth, a good man, came by the shop a few times. Anyway, he went down into that mine, stayed down there for ten days. When he came back up, he was... Uh, changed. They say he was like a feral animal, rabid and carnivorous. His mind was gone, his flesh all sallow and bloody, his eyes ablaze in a, a red light. First home he stumbled upon was me and Ma's. I was at the shop at the time. Ma went out to meet him and Clive, he... Doc said it happened quick. Clive jumped on her, ripped her throat. Old Bill ran over, put two through Clive's skull, shot him dead, like a dog. But Ma, she's been laid to rest now. She'll rise up to heaven, and bless her soul, she'll be greeted with open arms. That mine, they've been digging for that blue rock. Some folks say you stare too long, you'll find the devil in it. I need answers. I need to understand what happened. I'll head down to that mine tomorrow. The day's the 19th of April, 
the year of our Lord, 1885. Somehow. I don't know how it's possible. Last I recall, I was headed into the mine. I swear, I was only down there for a few hours. But I come back up. Townsfolk say I've been missing for five days. Then there was last night. When I slept, I had a vision. Two angels came down to me from heaven. They told me I needed to be ready to prepare for what was coming. And what was coming, they would not tell me, but how to prepare. Build a machine, they said. A machine that will grant you great power. Now, this machine was complex, requiring craftsmanship and mechanical skill I did not have. I told them such, but they said not to worry. They would guide my hands. The way they described it, it sounded like a, an oven or a kiln. You stick your rifle inside, and when it come back out, <laughs> Well, let's just say that rifle would pack a serious punch. The day's the 30th of June, the year of our Lord, 1885. My invention is the talk of the town. People been coming from far and wide, eager for a chance to upgrade their firearm. Revolver, rifle, the machine don't care. It'll pack them all. I pray every night, thanking the heavens for sending them two angels. I couldn't have done this without their guiding hand. They returned to me last night. They told me there was another machine they wished me to build. They called it the Agarthan device. Said it had the power to grant that which one truly desires. I told them I was their servant. Show me the path and I will walk. They said I needed three things. The blood of an elder god, an elemental shard, and a metallic vessel to harness and carry both. To find the blood, they instructed me to travel to the bottom of the ocean I told them this I could not do, for I would perish. To craft an elemental shard, they instructed me to forge four souls with a blue rock from our mine. I told them this I could not do, for I do not have the means to siphon a human soul to an element. But a metal vessel? Well, I am a blacksmith. That... That I think I could manage. The day's the 21st of July, the year of our Lord, 1885. I have uh, a confession. I am burdened with sin. I fear I am the architect of my own damnation. This town, this town is cursed. The devil himself has possessed our people. Folk have been acting all kinds of crazy, paranoia, visions, seeing things that ain't there. And the violence. Seven dead in the last five days. Sheriff don't know what's gotten into these people. But I know it. It's that damned mine. Them blue rocks. Doc believes them to be meteors from the sky, from up in the stars, maybe from heaven. But whatever the cause, I fear the disease that consumes this town has gotten to me as well. Last night, I felt overcome with loss and grief. I went to see Ma at the cemetery. Maybe it was a whiskey. Maybe it was delirium. I can't say, but I uh, dug her up and uh, took.
took her into town. I took her to my shop, where I kept the machine. I, uh, I don't know what came over me. Like something took control of my body, like a puppet on strings. I, I put her in the machine. I don't know why, maybe, maybe it would bring her back to me. But she vanished. Nothing came back out. I stumbled home in a daze, but as I arrive, I see before my eyes, I see an apparition, a spirit. It looks just like her, only when she was younger. She floats around the house now. I catch her playing the piano. <laughs> the angels. The angels, they came back to me again. I've built the metal carriage just as they asked. Only one thing left to do now, upgrade it with my machine. The day's the 22nd of July, the year of our Lord, 1885. We are truly lost. This town, these people, we are being punished by heaven for our transgressions and now must suffer the righteous hand of retribution. I did as they asked. I put the metal vessel in the pack-a-punch machine just as instructed. Next thing I know, all the energy, all the power of the world gets sucked out of the air as if pulled inside the machine. Next thing, the world went wide. I came to, and I see that I, my shop, all the people, the whole damn town has been transported as if wheeled by the Lord into this cavern buried below the surface of the earth. I fear we are at the threshold of hell, the world just waiting to open below our feet. We've been overrun by the devil's army. The dead have risen and now do us in battle. My name is Jebediah Brown, and I bow humbly before the two angels and ask for forgiveness. Show us the path to salvation. We are listening. Hello?